Come on in, chefs. Welcome back, chefs. The last time we were here, it was a tough challenge. We started with classic American, and unfortunately, Chef Elizabeth is no longer in the mix for Top Vegan. But today is a new day, and that means there will be a new winner, and unfortunately, a new loser. Though the term vegan wasn't coined until 1944, cultures in the Middle East, West Asia, and India have boasted plant-forward dishes and diets for centuries. And now, we started yesterday, Top Vegan, with classic American, the Americanization of what veganism means. Today, we're gonna pay homage and honor its international roots. And chefs, joining me today to judge this international challenge is co-owner of Tabuli Cafe, Chef Stephanie Goosler. Welcome, Chef. How are you? Thank you. I'm good. How about you? I'm wonderful. Thank you so much for joining us at Mitchell Hall today. Thanks for having us. So your cafe, Tabuli Cafe, specializes in Middle Eastern fare. What do you consider your staples for building a great Middle Eastern dish? Well, certainly you start with vegetables. Chickpeas are sort of the cornerstone of a lot of our dishes. Um, I recently have begun do doing some vegan shawarma, which I use soy curls for. Yesterday I did um, tofu gyros with some vegan tzatziki. So chefs, for today's challenge, you're gonna have 75 minutes to create a stunning, internationally inspired dish that pays homage and honors veganism's international roots. And I think if you guys are ready, your time starts now. Don't be locked, don't be locked. <laughs> I just have loved getting to meet the contestants and everyone involved in this whole project and just seeing how other people cook and the flavors that they create. I'm trying to kind of up my game, maybe things that I'm not familiar with that I can take back and incorporate in my own repertoire. Does have a cilantro that you can? Yeah. I, I have some too. I have plenty, so. And you're gonna share, right? Yes, ma'am. Like I said yesterday, my goal isn't to win one or two challenges. My goal is to make it to the last day and to win that challenge. I like uh, Szechuan, uh, anything that is the spiciest of any particular cuisine is just gonna be my love. Yeah, I, I definitely wouldn't mind feeling some heat today. We had a few dishes that we thought could have used that extra kick yesterday. So I'm hoping they're not afraid with the season today. And they really, they really hit us with it. Who has salt? I have salt. Yesterday, they was like, oh, your peppers, they need to be chopped a little smaller. Let me tell you, I'm about to like puree it. You're going to need a spoon. You're going to just like your baby. And they do what I'm doing, and that is talk to themselves. Yes, oh yeah, I'm always, I have to, I have to. My partner always says, you do know you're talking to yourself, and I'm like, yes, I know. I, you know how else am I gonna get through this? Uh, how else am I gonna get through this, and who else is gonna listen to me? Yeah. <laughs> Anybody have the can opener? I got it. <clears throat> Butter. Hey, Marciana, I love you. I told my girl I would mention her name today, so I had to. Oh, it smells amazing in here. Oh, it's too yeah. bad the television can't pick that up. Yeah, yeah, if we could, uh, that'll be the next package. We're gonna package the smells Sm of everything yeah. to smell along with the show. Scratch and sniff. Yeah, but now that would be, that's a great idea. What type of pasta are you gonna be whipping up? I'm gonna do some fettuccine and okay. try to plate it real fancy. Like plating's my favorite, and I didn't really get to show that off with, with the pot um, pie. The pot pie. So there's she did have a wonderful <laughs> crust flower garnish. Well, thank you. I did what I could with some dough and veggies, but hey, adapting um, in the top vegan kitchen is what it's all about, and I think you did a great job. Thank you. Oh, everyone's a team player. There hasn't been any like. No, I have that ingredient, but I'm not going to tell you. Or... Chef Noel, we see you've got some chickpeas. Yes, so I am making a chickpea lentil curry because a lot of people feel that vegans don't get protein. So this meal will actually include 32 grams of protein in one serving. So I'm going to be ready to hit the gym Absolutely. after filming commences today. Yes, Good. You're going to be I'm feeling, that plant-based muscle, that's exactly I what we're looking for. I remember 
Chad saying about spices from all around the world. So I was like, okay, I hear you, sir. I hear you. <laughs> Tell us a bit about what you're making. I'm making a tofu vegetable pad thai. Ooh, oh. delicious. Yes, yes. Yeah, we were we were thinking Sorry, we I couldn't make Lebanese today, but that's quite yeah. all right. Well, I was just telling Chad that I have to eat so much of my own cooking that I'm sure, okay sure. to eat a different cuisine for a while. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> I was really trying to bring my A game today and incorporate as many things into my dish as possible. Sorry. No, you're not. Kind of. Where do you think your mind would go? 75 minutes, internationally inspired. I would probably go with an Indian dish. Yep. That would probably be my go-to. Some type of curry? Would you be baking A masala, bread? chicken okay. masala, something like chana masala. All spice. Excuse me. Oh, yeah. Sorry for it. Does anybody have all spice? So nobody act like they can hear me ask for all spice. Yeah, yeah. Somebody got the all spice. It was in the pantry. Sorry, y'all. I would like it written. Written. You said this is going to be the butter or cauliflower that, yeah, that'll yes. go in there. Yes, so I have cauliflower the in the oven right now. So it's doing a little bit of pre-roast. Wonderful. And you're, you said you're making your own version of an Indian bread? Yes, it's called Lushi. So if you've ever been to an Indian restaurant and you bring out those puffy breads, yes. that's what it is. Wonderful. Yeah, fingers <laughs> crossed. Hey, you, you rolled the dice on making your own pasta yesterday, and it paid off. I'm excited to see how the bread turns out. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. My mom was always cooking. She was a stay-at-home mom. So being in the kitchen, I loved, but I didn't pick up her love for making desserts, unfortunately. Hi. Chloe, how are you? Good. How are you guys? We're good. We're intrigued. Good. So is that going to be going in the oven as well? You're about to roast no, that up, so or I have this what do we got? Here. Got my butternut squash and a ton Ooh. of spices in there. Ooh. Gonna oh make like almost soup with it for the laksa. I've been cooking since I was three. My mom taught me how to make chocolate chip cookies. I've just been cooking since then. It's my job, I own a restaurant, so I'm constantly cooking, but I love it. It's just second nature to me. Uh, well, tell us a bit about your dish. Went to a fabulous Israeli vegan cafe. Okay. And had a sandwich I'd never had before called Sabit. Yeah. So I made it for my daughter, and she said, this is fire. Okay. And said, okay, okay well, and that's is that what the kids are saying? That's what they say. Is that good? Is that's, that good? That's, like, yeah, yeah. Listen, you're making this again. So. I might throw some. That's fire as well. So I'll I'm, take I'm, it. I'll I am, take I am it. excited okay. to try. These kids these days. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> my dad was in the Air Force. We traveled around a lot. Um, so my dad was in Saudi Arabia, and he introduced us to tabbouleh, for instance. We were in Germany. We learned all about brat kartoffeln. It's gonna be a surprise to us all, even even me. Hey. Chef Rhea, Hello. what do we got cooking today? Um, West African okra stew. Um, and then I'm also doing a chickpea with a cucumber dill tzatziki sauce. Do you like doing the two dishes? I didn't even kind of really think about the old, being over ambitious behind it. Wow, so the confidence is high in the kitchen today. Couldn't decide. I couldn't decide. It was really hard to decide today. Like I'm not even being funny. It was extremely I hard. Yeah, I would imagine it would be. That I was excited just to try one of your dishes, but now that we know we got a double header coming up, I'm gonna make some more room in my stomach. Chefs, we are just under 30 minutes left. I need a band-aid up for this. Burning nudes. Anybody have cinnamon? I got cinnamon. Like there's no real spatula. Like I've been looking all over for a spatula. I went to one side, the other side, no spatula. This rubber one, that's how it burned and I've got to start over. And I don't have that much time. I feel better. When it gets hot in the kitchen, I cool myself off with a nice refreshing every time. Mmm. Damn, that's good. How you feeling, Chloe? Wheels are turning? I'm ready. You're ready I'm, to play? I'm too ready. You're too ready? Yeah. So should tomorrow's challenge be 60 minutes? No! Because <laughs> Chloe, Chloe's looking done. She's Chloe twiddling her thumbs. I'm not saying anything. I saw her with a magazine over by her station <laughs> just flipping through it. I'll just taste it for the sixth time. <laughs>
All right, my friends, we got one minute left. Our taste buds are looking for a passport. We're going around the world. Sweating a little bit at this point. We're at 30 seconds. Put those final garnishes on. Here we go, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, gang, hands up. Put them up in the air like you don't care, because time is up. I think it's still anyone's game. I think anyone can win. Pulled it together. <laughs> it was rough, but I pulled it together. They said everything went smoothly today, so feeling, feeling good going in. All right, chefs. That's another 75 minutes down here at the Top Vegan Kitchen at Mitchell Hall. We're excited to taste your internationally inspired dishes. And I think if you're ready, we're gonna start with Rhea. So that is okra stew, so it's just okra, um, tomatoes, it has a very spicy broth, so just wanna give you guys a heads up. You may need to chug some water in between. Okay. This is a gluten-free gyro, so you've got the chickpeas, you have the tzatziki sauce. That's a bold move, you know. So many people struggled with one dish over in 75 minutes yesterday. Yesterday was a tough day for me, so today I wanted to make sure that I just really brought even more of my best foot forward. The texture is wonderful. Yeah, I'll make you a piece of this. And I like spicy, so it's hard to make things too spicy for me. Okay. <laughs> I was pretty much pleased with the feedback, pleased with the suggestions. They liked them both, and so that like really made my heart go like, <sighs> Tell us about what we're about to inhale. I made a homemade fettuccine with pesto and a nutty, seedy kind of Parmesan topper. You took international cooking that, you know, a lot of people don't associate with veganism because so much pasta is butter and egg. It's not traditionally something you see necessarily be vegan and show that you can enjoy those those carb, like, rich kind of Italian flavors. God, they nailed the pasta. Thank you. It's got such a nice chew. If I didn't have so many other plates to get to, I'd probably just pick this up with my hand <laughs> and take a bite of it like an apple because it's so light. Thought it went well. I was a little nervous, but I got great reviews, so I'm hoping that shows in the results. Please, chef, tell us about what you made. So today we have a Thai butternut squash laksa. There's some broccoli and sugar snap peas in the base, and I recommend squeezing that lime on top before you take a bite. Give us a little squeeze. Yep. Ooh, yeah. The rice noodles are cooked well. We have the seasoning is amazing. It's something like this, I would maybe even throw in a little bit of spice. Yeah, I agree. Maybe with a hotter spice or something like that. I might have backed off the cinnamon, but it's very good. They wanted more spice, and there was a chili oil drizzled over the whole thing, so maybe they just didn't get a bite with the chili oil in it or something. Not sure. Chef Teresa, please tell us about your creation. Uh, so what I have made for you is an Israeli sandwich called Sabik, and it is a sandwich that has fried eggplant, many other things as well. In fact, I counted eight layers. Wow, wow. With eight layers, I'm expecting true depth of flavor, but the pita, is so fluffy, and the eggplant just melts in your mouth. It's the the texture is incredible. And I the really enjoy. Yeah, the eggplant held up too. Yeah, the eggplant Rim. held up. The pita held up. Yeah, the slaw is coming through. Nice and that, texture. That back of mouth. Yeah, great. And of course, great the colors tanginess. are beautiful. I think, as your daughter would say, fire. Oh, oh that's awesome! <laughs> I nailed it. I gave him the privilege of saying that. Yeah. It executed well. I think they thought it was plated beautifully. So yeah, I was pretty proud of myself. Chef, please tell us about your dish. Uh, so today I made butter cauliflower. It's on top of a well of uh, cilantro chutney surrounded by white rice. What was the inspiration for this dish? I just really like butter cauliflower. Okay. <laughs> and sometimes that's all it takes. You just I really do too, like something so. and you gotta use it. Slightly, I would have loved more of that butter cauliflower. Um, yeah, I would agree with that. And maybe as far as aesthetics goes, you know, drizzle the cilantro sauce over the top. Could definitely use some improvement with the presentation of it. Um, the, the judges gave fantastic advice that I will definitely consider any time I make that dish in the future. Chef Noel, please tell us about your dish. We have a lentil chickpea curry um, with quinoa, and so I decided to go the Indian route. And I wanted to do something that had a lot of nutrition along with flavor as well, too. Wonderful. You want to ah, dig yes. in? <laughs> yes, please. I want to make sure that everything is healthy, nutritious, and it's fun to eat as well, too. I'm also a big believer in food as medicine, 
And this is acting as an incredible antidepressant right now. There you go. It's wonderful. <laughs> Incredibly Makes tasty. Makes you happy. Yeah. Hey. I think I layered my dish very well today. It had the aroma, had all of the spices. The judges gave me really good feedback. Chef Christian, tell us about what you made. So what you have here is a tofu vegetable pad thai with a spicy sweet peanut sauce. You are dedicating this dish to some people in your life. My two best friends, Chris and Mike, where the dish kind of originated from, and uh, my girlfriend, Merciana, it's her favorite dish that we make together. We're bringing her on for season two. Yeah, let's do it. That's delicious. <laughs> but this is my favorite way to enjoy tofu. Uh, this was probably the best pad thai I've had, maybe ever. Thank it was you incredible. So much. Thank uh, you, so much. You, you did some great work. I can definitely tell today everyone kind of elevated their level of cooking. All right, chefs. Well, uh, that was a pretty incredible round of dishes. Uh, everyone really stepped it up from yesterday. I might want to go back for some seconds for some of these plates, but unfortunately, before we do any of that, Chef Stephanie and I are going to step out for a moment, deliberate. She's going to have some wonderful news for the winner. And after she leaves, I'm left here to be the bad guy. Well, today was interesting. Everybody definitely bought their A game. The judges seemed pleased, so I mean, all of it still is, you know, we're still waiting on deliberations. I loved Christian's presentation. I think that's something you would see in a magazine. As far as what I would want to get from a restaurant, Noelle's is, is the best for me. We don't want anyone to go home. We've all gotten close, even though this is only the second day we've known each other. Well, right. this is impossible. Yeah, this is going to be a tough one. They absolutely stepped it up from the first challenge, and that was an incredible round of dishes. Yeah, it was really impressive. Really liked the Israeli salad sandwich. Oh, man. It was absolute depth of flavor. So many different styles of cooking. She knocked it out of the park. It was fire. It was, it was fire. <laughs> it, let, let's be honest. It was fire. <laughs> Enjoyed Christian's pad thai. Really flavorful. Um, Ria's two dishes, that West African stew was an absolute dynamite. It was killer. I could have eaten the whole bowl. And, you know, as far as bottom two goes, I think, uh, you know, I think Jeff, I would have loved to see more on his Certainly plate. some more color. Um, I think you and I were both on the same page about the cilantro sauce being on the bottom. And not that I thought it was a bad dish, but I think Chloe kind of found herself in that middle to back area, which it, it, it was, Tasty dish. Everything was cooked I thought well. It had a little bit too much going on. Well, that was a tough little talk we just had. It was very tough. Uh, I think the first words out of Chef Stephanie's mouth was, "This is going to be impossible." Both determining a winner and our loser for today. There were no bad dishes at all. The three dishes that impressed us the most today. We'll start with Ria. Uh Goodness, what? Teresa. I think today went amazingly well. And Chef Noel. I think it's gonna go well in my favor. I focused on health and flavor today. Honestly, I feel like I should win today. They said it was the best pad thai they've ever had. I tasted my dish, I tasted everyone else's dish. I still think I have the best flavors. Chef Stephanie, if you'd like to announce our winner for today. I would love to. The winner today is Teresa. Clap it up. I am definitely one to be kind of humble and, and not be too um, maybe self-congratulatory. It was absolutely delightful. I got to figure out how to make it now so I can make it at home. It was so good and so fresh. So many different components on the plate that were cooked to perfection. And visually uh, stunning. Visually stunning. It had, you know, for every layer that you had built up, there was two layers of flavor along with it. Wonderful job. And if you guys would like to give one extra round of applause for Chef Stephanie lending us her palette today. It was an absolute Thank you, pleasure, everybody. Chef. It was so wonderful. All of you did beautifully. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Again, there wasn't a bad dish today, and that's what made it so hard. We talked ad nauseum. What'd you like about this? Uh, if this person would have made this edit or that edit. So many dishes were one component away from reaching the top level. And after deliberating with the chef, uh, unfortunately our bottom two dishes today were Jeff and Chloe. 
I know they talked about the spice and the cinnamon being a little bit too forward, so I'm not too surprised that I was in the bottom two. I hope I get to stay for the next round because, you know, I've got the next two dishes in mind and I know they will be fantastic. Um, now you both, again, wonderfully tasty dishes. I think, Jeff, what we wanted was more of that wonderful buttered cauliflower. It was delicious. And Chloe, same thing, we're, we're just one piece off. There is so much great texture. There is so much great flavor. Whoever goes home, I'm probably gonna tear up today. Um, we're kind of like a close-knit family just after two days. <laughs> um, but unfortunately, the chef, that will no longer be in the mix for Top Vegan. It's Chef Jeff. So sorry, my friend. Everybody give him a round of applause. Thank you, Jeff. Yeah. Jeff was maybe kind of a, a quiet contributor, but a really, really nice, personable guy. So it was definitely hard to see him go home. It's getting harder every day. Uh, we've known each other for a short time. Uh, but yeah, you, you really bond with people through the fire and the flames of battling out in the kitchen. Um, Jeff is an astounding cook. He's, he rolled the dice back-to-back -back days, making his own pasta, making his own bread. Uh, tonight, I want you to go home, get some rest, uh, be prepared for tomorrow. We're hitting plant-based protein. We're gonna answer the question as old as time itself. Where do vegans get their protein? Tomorrow, you'll show the world. Thank you, chefs. Give yourself a round of applause. It was a great day in the kitchen. For me, it wasn't unexpected. Um, you know, everyone else did such a good job. And just something else to go practice and get better at, and it's all good. The title of Top Vegan would mean more to me than the cash, though. Just the validation that, you know, my skills are up to par with other vegan chefs. I have been testing this recipe on my daughter to perfect it and she's gonna be very excited because she was giving me pointers and suggestions, so she would be extremely excited.